Okay, welcome to section 1.1 of the textbook. This is Imperial Measures of Length, and we are doing Outcome M2, Applying Measurement Units. Okay, so Imperial Units, you've already seen before, uh, are the old school element uh, units that we, we've created historically, okay, uh, such as the inch, the foot, the yard, and the mile. Okay, uh, there are different reference for each of these. The inch, for example, is exactly the same size as a thumb. That's actually the Scottish word. Inch is the Scottish word for thumb. Uh, a foot is obviously a foot. Your arm span is a yard. And a 20-minute walk is a good referent for a mile. Okay, now it's going to be important, really, to have these conversions with you at all times when you're doing questions on this. And this chart will be provided to you uh, on any kind of test or assessment or anything like that. So let's take a look at some questions. Okay, uh, first basic kind of question is just something like this, convert seven yards to feet. Okay, well we look on our table here and we can find, hey look, one yard is three feet. So let's see what we do. Seven yards if we multiply this by three feet over one yard, this will work out for us. Now, how, how do I know this is going to work out? Well, look at the units. I'm multiplying by yards, and I'm dividing by yards. Well, that's equivalent to the number one. In other words, we can, what's called, cancel that out. And the result is that the only unit that's left is feet. So now we just do 3 times 7, which gives us 21 feet. Okay, uh, I'd like you to try the next problem. Convert 7 yards to inches. Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. Uh, here we go. We're going to do 7 yards times 36 inches for every 1 yard. Okay. Our yards cancel out. The only unit I have left is inches. And I take 7 times 36, uh, which is, if I type that in right, I believe that's 252. Okay, next one is kind of going a little backwards. Okay, we're going to convert 87 inches into feet and inches. What this, this means, what this question is really asking is... How many feet is 87 inches, and how many leftover inches do we have after we've taken our feet away? So let's see what we do. Well, 87 inches is exactly equal to 87 divided by 12 feet, since there are 12 inches in every foot. Okay, let's rewrite this as a mixed fraction. 87 divided by 12 gives me 7. And if you type it in your calculator, you get 7.25. As a mixed fraction, that's 7 and 3 twelfths. So we have 7 whole feet and 3 twelfths left over. Okay, what do we do? Well, we can rewrite this. I have 7 whole feet. And really, what is the meaning of that 3 twelfths? Those are the 3 inches which haven't been incorporated into a foot. So we have 7 feet, 3 inches. In the next problem, we're going to look at 87 inches again, and this time we're going to convert to yards, look at the leftovers and convert those into feet, and then look at the leftovers of that and call them inches. Okay, why don't you pause the video and give this a try. It's the first try at it, so you might not get it. That's okay. And I'll take it up in one moment. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. 87 inches is equal to 87 over 36 yards. By the way, there are other ways of doing this. So 87 divided by 36 gives me 2 yards and some leftover inches. Okay, so how do I figure that out? Well, in my calculator, I type in 87 on the side here. I type in 87 divided by 36, and it gives me 
2.4166666 continuous. All right. So I have two whole yards, and I have 0.416. So what do I do with that 0.416? Well, if I take 0.416666 and multiply that by 36, I get a, an answer of 15. Okay, that's 15 leftover inches that haven't been converted to yards. Okay, so what do we have so far? This gives us a result of two complete yards and 15 inches which have not yet been assigned. All right. Well, now we're going to convert those remaining inches, these 15 inches, into feet. Okay, so let's keep going. We've got two yards and we've got 15 inches. Well, the two yards is just two whole yards. 15 inches, well, 12 inches is a foot, so we can take one foot out of that. Taking 12 away from 15, we have three leftover inches. And there's our final answer. 87 inches is exactly two yards and one foot and three inches. Okay, uh, last problem here in this section is converting three miles to inches. Okay. Now if I look on this chart, oh no! Nowhere on the chart does it tell me how to go from miles to inches. But I do see something here. I can convert miles to feet. Or alternatively, I could convert it to yards. And then I could take my feet and convert those into inches. So let's do that. Three miles times 5,280 feet for every one mile. I can cancel out my units of miles, and all I'm going to be left with is a number of feet. So we type into our calculator 3 times 5280, and that gives me 15,840 feet. All right, next, I take my 15,840 feet and multiply that by 12 inches for every one foot. Again, I get a unit that cancels out. This time the feet cancel out. And all I'm going to be left with as a final answer is in inches. Okay, So we can multiply our number 15,840 times 12. And that gives us 190,000 and 80 inches. Okay, that's it. Next though, we're going to have a bonus problem for you to try. Okay, a little bonus lesson on the side here is to deal with something called scales. So when you look at maps, they always give you a scale. For example, a map of Manitoba has a scale of, and there's an error here, uh, 1 to 1,700,000. So there should be an extra zero that I've added in there. Now, let's read. The distance on the map from Brandon to Winnipeg is 4.1 inches. How far is it from Winnipeg to Brandon in miles? Okay, so here's how a scale works. This scale of 1 to 1.7 million really means that if on the map we have 1 inch on the map, in reality, that same distance is 1,700,000 inches in reality. Okay, so that's what a scale does for us. So let's go ahead and answer this problem. If we have 4.9 inches on the map times 1,700,000 over 1, that's our scale. Well, let's see. I guess that's a really big number. Uh, it gives us 8,330,000 inches in reality. Okay, so this is the real distance from Winnipeg to Brandon. From here, we have a second problem. We have to turn this number of inches into a number of miles. You can pause the video and try that yourselves.
Okay, welcome back from the pause. Uh, to take this 8,330,000 inches and turn it into miles, I will take the 8,330,000 inches divided by 12 inches per foot, and that tells me that I have 694,166.6 continuous feet. I take this number and divide it by 5,280 feet per mile. And that tells me that, in fact, the total distance here of 8,330,000 inches is really 100 and 31.47 miles. Okay, hope you enjoyed the bonus lesson.